Over the past 20 months, COVID restrictions worldwide have limited society and prevented churches from meeting together. Despite all of this, God is continuing to move and build His church across the nations. Here's a short glimpse of what God has been doing in and through us in recent months. Kicking off in Namibia, Andrew Selly visited four partnering churches in the region, building, encouraging, and grounding the churches in the truth of Christ, as well as stirring them up to run flat out for our King. Andrew traveled along with Andre van der Merwe, leader of Crowded House Church in Vintuk. I've got a really little plane that um, we used to go and visit the different churches in Namibia. We flew down to, to Kirtmans. Um, now, Jakub Erika uh, lead the church down there. Uh, from Kirtmans, we drove up to Marienthal, which is about 250 kilometers from there. And we visited the church, which is led by Sean and Joe, spent some time with them. And then we came back to Vintuk again. The fact that Andrew came in and that we were able to visit together with the different churches, um, I think has just created so much unity amongst the four churches here in Namibia again. Where we've battled to connect in person, we have connected online. Partnering churches, Convergencia Church in Montemor and Estesail 337 in Belo Horizonte and Sao Paulo, Brazil, came together for a live online gathering, receiving teaching from leaders across the 412 field. Hey, hello, my brother. Nice to have you here. Hello, my friend. Hello, everybody. It was a significant time of connection after such a long time of being apart. Regional equipping times provide an opportunity for saints and leaders in specific regions to come together for times of fellowship, worship, and teaching. The 412 Northern RSA Regional Equip saw church leaders and saints from nine partnering churches across six regions in South Africa gather together for two days of impartation and connection. Even with so many different people, gifts, and churches coming together, the unity encountered during this time was exceptionally powerful. Hearts were stirred once again to give of themselves, to reach the world with Christ's message of hope. And by the end of the two days, no one was left the same. Russell and Jenny Fraser have recently been released from leading a local congregation in Joshua Generation Church. It has been wonderful to see the fruit of their labor as they have traveled over 7,000 kilometers across South Africa, equipping, encouraging, and building into the lives of many believers. In the overflow of God's life, we've seen many new churches being planted recently. Brad Verena from Oxygen Life recently traveled to Durban, South Africa, to connect with Matthew and Shannon Wright and the rest of the team who have planted Risen Hope Church into Amgeni, Durban. Brad also traveled to Adelaide in the Eastern Cape, where he ordained Adan Boa as an elder, as he and his family plant Living Waters Church. In addition to these, there have been multiple other new congregations planted all over South Africa, we are extremely excited for these, and we look forward to seeing many souls saved and brought into the kingdom through these new church plants. While the world has been in lockdown and travel bans have restricted movement, the Lord strategically placed Richard and Sue van der and Andrew and Elizabeth East in Europe, where they have been able to continue ministering, encouraging and strengthening the churches there. In September, various church leaders from across partnering churches in Europe met together in Horsham, England, to connect and be equipped for the season ahead. I think you come away from a conference being absolutely wrecked, but at the same time refreshed. And the conference this weekend was called Awaken, but by the end of the weekend, we had felt like awake in obedience. And just to encourage anyone, when there's a call for us to meet as saints, let's be going to these equipping times. It has been amazing to see the fruit of what God is doing in Living Waters Church in the Netherlands. Recently, Ryan Kingsley from City on a Hill Church in Gauteng, South Africa, visited them. Ryan ordained Peter and Floris as the first elders onto eldership. We look forward to seeing the fruit that will come out of Living Waters and the impact that they will have into the rest of Europe. In addition to all of this, we've also seen many other leaders going into the nations to minister, encourage, and build up the churches. As a global partnership of churches, we are encouraged by the tremendous growth and fruit we've seen in our churches, despite the difficulties of the past 20 months. 
As we look ahead to 2022, we are expectant for what God will do. We're eager to see even more people's lives impacted and changed as they are encouraged, built up and strengthened by fellowship and the Word of God. We also look forward to seeing new churches established as God opens doors to see more saints and leaders step out to travel and be willing to go. While so much remains uncertain, one thing we do know, no matter the challenges we face, our God has got more for us. We keep trusting, hoping, and believing in the God of the impossible. Who can stop the Lord Almighty?